Hey YouTube, today I wanted to share with you, I wanted to do actually my second empties video. I can't remember if I mentioned in the last video that um, my empties videos won't be monthly. There will be when I feel like I've accumulated enough stuff that I want to share it with you in a video and of course to give you my opinion on it. Um, so I feel like I have accumulated enough products this time so I could have a decent enough video for you. First I wanted to um, show you my anybody who watched my um, Final QC Makeup Academy video when I told you how I finished the program and everything I did want to come back and show you my certificate and this is my certificate I am now a certified international makeup professional that is a mouthful but I am very proud of the fact that I am finished and I have the certificate to show for it I am in the process now of applying for pro discounts and kind of doing a little bit of research to see where I can get some more practical experience so this is my certificate and it is going to go up here on my wall where I just took it down from I just wanted to show it to you and now I feel like I'm not in the center and my hair is a mess but um, we're going to get back to my empties and the first one for all practical purposes will be called an empty but it's not absolutely I can probably get another bath or so out of it and that is the pure grace foaming bath and shower cream and it's been like this so it kind of settled on the side but as you can see back here it's mostly empty um, I get this as part of an auto delivery from QVC because you all know I'm a QVC fanatic but normally I get um, the amazing grace but I switched up one of my shipments to pure grace and I like it when you don't want to have on something that's too perfumey it smells really really fresh and clean so for people who sort of work in like a hospital setting or if you work around children or people who could possibly be sensitive to fragrance this one is excellent let's move my soda out of the way the next item and I'm just randomly picking stuff up as I reach for it in my bag is the Beauty Secrets Acetone and this is a 16 ounce bottle I got this from Sally Beauty and it's pretty reasonable the price and I love this one for removing my nail polish that has glitter in it you just sort of keep hold the cotton ball on your finger for a while and it wipes right off I've also which I know I shouldn't have been I already know I shouldn't have been I've been using it to remove my regular nail polish and it just swipes right off I have um, already purchased a non acetone version of this and I purchased another acetone for removing my glitter and for removing those gel nails that are so hard to remove the next couple of things are pretty much the same thing just two packets it is the Berkeley and Jensen daily facial cleansing towelettes and I use these to remove makeup you know and you purchase these from BJ's it's the BJ's version um, I like these better than Neutrogena and the other brand name um, makeup removing cloths because these have been for me consistently moist I like the texture of the actual cloth it doesn't feel rough on my skin these come in a huge box from BJ's and you get four of I want to tell you four of the 30 count packets and you get two of the 15 count packets and I think it costs you like ten dollars so it's really really um, reasonable and you get a good amount for the price so I think I've purchased that big packet a couple of times um, the next item is something I sort of rediscovered shopping my stash sort of um, I had been noticing that the ends of my hair are was getting the ends of my hair was getting a little bit crunchy so so um I went and picked up out of my little stash of hair products the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle and 
rediscover why I like this stuff so much. You put it in your hair when they say leave it in for three minutes. In three minutes, this stuff made my hair really, really soft and moist. And it wasn't breaking because it was too brittle, I think is the word I want to use. So I really love this. This is in my shower as we speak, but this is my empty. And that's something I'm always going to use. It's going to be like a staple for me. The next item that I have is the Garnier Nutritionist Moisture Rescue Lotion. And this has, what, how many ounces? This is a 4.5 ounce. It has SPF 15 in it. So this is the um, facial moisturizer I use every day in the morning. And this is one I have been using for, I want to say about two years now. This is my go-to facial moisturizer. When I was having um, really bad acne and using the acne medications and it was drying my skin out, this was the only thing that moisturized my skin for me. So I am always on the hunt for that and it's so hard to find in the store. Um, I have the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray which I have been using this also. Let's see, I'm like three years into a hair journey, so I've been using this for about three years now. Not this one bottle, but I've been using this brand for about three years. It's one of my favorites because it's a liquid and not the silicone version. I do have a silicone one that reminds me of the cheese silk infusion. I use that also, but I prefer to use this one if I'm blow drying my hair. The other one I prefer to use if I'm using like the um, curling iron or something. I have the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Hair Smoothie. You can tell this one is old because she's changed her label since then. But um, this one is okay. It's a deep conditioner. I usually add some other things to it, but this one is okay. I think I found some other things that were less expensive that work just as well. And not only that, I've moved on to her Manoi products. So. It's a good one. I still have the regular conditioner and the shampoo, the shampoo in black vanilla. So, but I won't. I probably won't buy this deep conditioner anymore. I have the Body Shop Coconut Body Butter, and I'll open that up and show you that that is empty. Unless I want to scrape. Um, I like this one a lot, especially in the winter for my legs. My legs get really, really dry. And I have this also in like strawberry and shea butter and other fragrances also. I have, I want to tell you, five, and I would be right, five mascaras in my empties bag. And I have either used them up or they have expired on me. You can see all of these little dot stickers. And what I do with the dot stickers, let's see. Some of like this one is still on here. Is I will put the date on my mascara. So I feel like I'm being washed out. So that I know when to get rid of it. And I got that idea from my sister. So I have... Let's see, two Mally mascaras, the volumizing mascara, not the waterproof version, just the regular. I have the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. I have the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay. And I have the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition. I think this one just pretty much expired on me because I forgot I had it. But, of course, my favorites are the Mally. I'll tell you the order of the favorites. The Mally's. And then the gifted, then the lights, camera, lashes, and then the um, flawless definition by Bare Minerals. I do like all of them. The last thing that I have is a, I would call it a travel size. I wouldn't necessarily call it a sample because you get so much more than that. The Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment from Tarte. This is the little sample version and this one is absolutely empty. Nobody could get any more of that out of there. But um, I got this in a, why do I keep wanting to say birch box? It wasn't a birch box, it was a beauty test too that I got this in and I used every last drop of this and I bought the um, full size version. I put that um, full size version in my favorites video that I did previously so of course I like that. 
and I will keep going back to purchase that also but that is it that is the end of my um little empties sort of trash video thank you all for watching and have a good